Stops. You know, I think I did very and, uh, well. Uh, I wish I did better in certain things, but uh, you know, generally, I think we did better. What are some of those things you thought you could have done better? In? Uh, we all kind of see the numbers. The strength coaching staff. Uh, 40, I wanted a 4 through 5, so I came a little short on that. Um, shuttle, I could have I could get under 4 too. Um, and then 3 cone, I wanted a, like a 6, 7, 3 on that, so kind of mad on that one. And then, um, you know, just some technical stuff within, uh, within uh, the position of drills. Go to Mark Brennan next. No, no. Jason, I mean, can you take us through what you've done uh, since the end of the season like, uh, and uh, how you kind of got to where you are uh, just, just being able to test muscles, as well? Like trying to get numbers and things like that. Um, you know, I've just been then. trying to, you know, hold my body, you know, get my body fed down, get my start first. Because, you know, I've always been a fast guy, but it was always just getting the motor moving. So my start was was always always bringing my time down. So once I was able to get that, you know, good, it was just a matter of just chipping on the numbers. Get a making, I'm making PRs every day and then getting stronger, you know, going through drills, uh, some of the drills that they have. I'm actually, um, I was actually training for a lot of D line drills. Uh, it was all linebacker drills today. So it was, it was a nice surprise. Go to Andre Monroe next. Hey, Jason, have, have you speak with NFL teams yet? And if so, how has those interviews went? Yeah, I've spoken with a few, probably like four teams um, here, but, um, you know, in the process, uh, the so process what me back probably spoken much all 32, trying to get another opportunity five times to go each, the NFL. But, you know, they've you know, been the really NFL good, been very informative. Uh, I've worked so um, hard for it. wanted me through plays, and, you know, wanted, wanted of, me through schemes that I would potentially be in. Happen, so it's kind of, it's nice just to see where they could plug you in. It lets me know what little things I can work on. So it's been good. But next, I we'll have new bias. Wilborn, I wanted, you know, another opportunity, another chance to, you know, really prove Jason. My, um, what's it? I mean, obviously, you know, your like ability. That, but, you know, what's it like when you and, get to see you know, the timeline you know, on Twitter and all the people like we can see in the NFL talking about weekend, how much kind of was, you've improved kind of your ability? Uh, what's it like when you get the recognition? Really, you know, stay strong mentally. And you know, it's cool, you know. A lot of people, it was, it was um, really rough season, so they're I always going like, to talk, you know, so it's just good just to, you know, just here, prove myself, put the, you know, scouts, you know, put it down and just can, let people know these are really my numbers. Um, you know, and you know, people want to believe it. Really it. Want it's not, it's an anomaly. It can't myself. really happen, but, you know, I just did it. So it feels good to just let people know who I am, like show people who I really am. And, you know, I could have done better in a few things, but, you know, it feels nice to get the recognition. We go to Nick Farr by next. Mainly myself. Um, hey, Jason, you know, you know, so a so large me presence of speed mentality. Uh, you know, today, I got to want to talk with them at all. I got to want to, you know, you know fulfill what, my dream for myself because that's what I want to do. I'm sorry, what was the first um, part of your question? From supporting, um, you know, there was a large um, contingent of students that year. She's always Tom been. Colbert, uh, you know, my uh, coaches from high school have always been with me throughout the process. You know, Kind of how back at home also talk with them at all, first of all. So, you know, Second, I have a great support staff. What does it mean family, to kind of have you know, these big really good guys like GMs and friends? Um, and yeah, so I mean, you know, they've, you know, they've all just helped me, but at the end of the day, I still couldn't really first hear you first, but the second one, keeping a positive um, attitude about everything. You know, like, it, feels, it feels really good to just, you know, be able to perform in front of these people that, you know, can potentially get you a job. So, it gives you an extra adrenaline rush to, you know, be on your on your P's and Q's and be as good as you as you can. So, it was it was definitely humbling, you know. I, I started up just not being not. I started out playing football, you know, my junior year of high school. So to be here in five years is it's like it's God's plan. So it's been a blessing. Yes. Yeah, so first part. Hopefully now that the audio is a little quieter. Uh, have you um, met I don't at all with um? Too many, uh, have you met at all with the Steelers? Um, um, specifically, Mike Tomlin or Kevin Goldberg. Like to model my game after. Yeah. Um, um, we had I like a few to models. model my game after kind of Zach Martin. Um, Thank you. Obviously, a great. Offensive guard, uh, Justin Pugh. Good, Jacob Infante next. Obviously, another great guard. Hey, Jason. Uh, obviously, uh, um, judging by your I mean, you know, pro day numbers it. alone and watching him on paper, I look at, athlete, you know, I look so at his film a lot. I, ask, you know, I, kind of, uh, I, I can see. Is the there a specific area um, in your game you feel like you as a role model, a little bit more work? And if so, what have you been doing in the three draft process to kind of work on that? Thank you. Matias. Um, just uh, he was with the uh, a little bit, and he was with Farsi using my athleticism in the right places in the right know, ways. Um, obviously, I'm very athletic, you know, but you know, sometimes I tend to lean on it 
a little bit too much, and that could be bad because a lot of people can watch you off. You're rushing too fast. You don't have a counterman, but you know, just uh, also rely on more on my technique as well. Um, I'm an unorthodox guy. I can get things done my way, but um, you know, when you're on the next level, you got to do things a specific way and, and be effective with them. So, just just you know, tightening up the technique and uh, you know, and my general knowledge of the game as well. Um, so yeah, I go to Gonzalo uh, next. I know you weren't here, but um, I. My question is, which players do you like to, to you know, watch the most at the professional level? Um, um, my favorite players right, to watch like, are Daniel Hunter, Chandler um, Jones, and Khalil Mack. That didn't happen either. Um, so me and my agent were kind of talking about it. We're like, all right, so maybe we'll wait for futures deals. We'll, you know, we'll see what we can we'll do. We'll go to David Miller next. And, you know, no one calls. Okay. So, you know, I, I know I'm a good player. I know Hi, I'm, Jason. A, How you I'm doing? a hard worker. I, yes, I do the doing? right things every day. Um, just, um, are there any players you're looking well. forward to going up against? Um, but, you know, know, I, I just, you know, even I just really wanted it. another opportunity, especially not so having a day last year. Are there any quarterbacks or yeah. tackles you looking know, forward to? All, all of them in the 2020 class. Um, you know, um, I, just, I just want another opportunity because I know I can. No one, play. no one um, specific. I have a few guys in my head, but I'm not gonna I'm really say it just to start some beef. Um, and yeah, <laughs> I, I really just was trying to get an opportunity to really prove myself in front of scouts. Go to Mookie Hawkins next. Yeah. Jason Mookie Hawkins, Waffle Sports 1080 Buffalo. How's it going, big guy? Good. How you doing? I'm doing good. Now, um. Four three, that's unheard of for a guy your size. And you know, I'm quite sure you're gonna be hearing these knocks all day long about, oh, you didn't get sacks yeah. last year, or you know, you're very yeah. green. What do you have to um, say to those general managers and scouts that's gonna, you know, ask you those questions, um, obviously. And you know, has the Buffalo Bills been in contact? Every night, with? every morning, just you know, hoping that um, would come and yeah, you know, the Buffalo Bills have. But um, and, you know, in terms of the zero sacks thing, it's like. You know, it's, it's, like these, uh, it's, you know, it's, it's obviously there, through, but, you know, you know, if you then, really you know, are savant at the really, game and you know, if you really understand, like, what is going on in the game and you watch so, film, you don't just look you know, at the box really score, you understand that that's, really that's not even who I am. That's not even the type of player that, you know, that I am. So, and I would say that if we go off Indiana, you know, I would have five sacks that game. Things just were, you know, a split second off. So, you know, I feel like if even if I did have five, six sacks, people would still have come up with things to say. But, you know, my best series of football are ahead of me. I can, and I, this is this is probably the best thing that could have happened to me because I'm using it as motivation. People have said that I was a pass rush specialist the year before that. Now they're saying I can only pay the run. So, you know, it's I use all this stuff as motivation and i'm it's just it's just helping me to become more of a, more of a complete football absolutely man appreciate your time and the bills definitely know thank you all thank you all. appreciate it <laughs> say buffalo dante last thing you thank you thank you appreciate it hey jason uh in early mock drafts some of the experts and analysts have you been selected by the bills with the 30th pick what do you know about buffalo and what are your thoughts on the organization um you know i would love i would love to go to buffalo i'd love to you know be in upstate new york but uh, you know, I, I know I know a few things. Uh, I know it's uh, you know it's a good organization, but I'm not going to say too much thing. I don't want to if there's any tampering rules or something like that. But I, I love the organization. <laughs> Thank you, Audrey. Back to you, uh, Jason. I just want to go back to you and Micah training together. Obviously, you guys have had a ton of fun working together over the years. What was it like? What's maybe the most impressive thing you saw him do? How competitive did it get? Yeah, I feel like there should have been a documentary on how we were working in Santa Ana, California. It was just so intense. So like every single day, every single session, it was just PR, PR, PR. Oh, oh, look what I got. Look what I got. Oh, OK, I'm going to beat you. No, you go first because he has a thing that he has this thing where whoever goes first, the second person is always going to have a better a better time because they see what the other person doing. So they got to take it up a notch. So he was so happy to know that I was going first uh, today. So, uh, you know, it was just so competitive, so like intense. And the, probably the craziest thing I, I saw him do is probably uh, we were doing 10 yard starts. And at this point, none of us had cracked the 1.5 10 yards 
uh, on a 10 yard start. And we were at like probably in the sixes. So he got that, he PR twice in a row and he got the like a one five. I don't know what his, his, his time is, but it was like mid one fives. And I was like, wow. Cause I went after that and I couldn't get it. So after that, I ended up beating him. But, um, you know, after I saw that, I was like, yeah, I got to take it up a notch. Did he talk some crap about the 40 to you today? Yeah, because Big Ten Network said that he had a 435. So he was like, oh, I got to beat you. And then I was like, bro, you didn't, you didn't get a 435. But uh, yeah, um, I think I got him on that one. So he wasn't talking any crap uh, today. Last question for Jason. We'll go to Blue and White Illustrated. Is that me? Yes, sir. Oh, hey, Jason. What's going on today? Congratulations on your pro day. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm doing well. I, I want to ask you, how did 2020 affect your development? Because you mentioned you've only been playing football since your junior year of high school. How did 2020 affect your development as a pass rusher? And how have teams approached that with you? Um, 2020, it was like, it's weird because maybe the production wasn't there. But in terms of just skill wise, I was way better this past year. So, um, you know, it's, it just, it just helped me to understand what I have to really hone on. You know, I was focused on just trying to have flashy moves, but now I can really hone in on speed to power, hone in on, you know, time in the hands better and hone in on, you know, confronting the tackle instead of, you know, trying to run around him. And, you know, that's only going to make my, my game even better. So I'm really, I'm really, really happy that, you know, it, it was bittersweet that I had, you know, Zero sex, but I just know that it's going to be crazier once I really know what I work on. Need to work on. All right. Thank you, Jason. Thank you.